Hi everybody, it's Carla here, Out to Schools Coordinator with High Life Highland. We have another daily challenge for you. Uh, many of the challenges that have been set are on the High Life Highland YouTube channel. They are there for a bit of fun and a bit of a laugh, but some will actually build upon some essential movement skills. Um, today's one is going to do exactly that as we work on the book bug challenge, and that is all about balance. So balance is a skill that's used at every age and stage of life, from toddler right up to adulthood. And it's your ability to control your body. Um, it's what stops you from falling over. But it forms the foundation of every bodily movement, even down to walking. Balance is really, really important. So let's try and master that skill in today's challenge. Uh, what you're going to need for part one of this challenge is just one book. Okay, so go and grab your favourite book. Um, I picked Narnia. Great read, and um, if you haven't read already, we definitely recommend. But go and grab yourself one book. But what you will also need is a whole stack of books. So go and grab yourself first of all your favourite book. But for challenge number two, you're going to need a big stack of them. So go and get that ready now as I prepare to take on this challenge myself. So, book bag challenge part one, extremely simple. All you have to do is take one book and try and balance it on as many different body parts as possible for 10 seconds. Let's see how many I can do. So challenge one is a really good starter for challenge two. I managed to get seven body parts there, um, but have a think, you can do this challenge sitting or standing um, or even lying down. So you can probably get more body parts in there. Challenge yourself and see if you can get yourself in the all nice book of records because this challenge and challenge part two is something that we will add to that book. Um, challenge two, however, requires your stack of books. Choose one body part, and with that body part only, you have to try and stack as many books as possible on there. So I'm gonna choose my knee, which I found quite challenging even with just one book, um, but I'm gonna choose my knee, raise that knee off, or that foot off the ground, and try and see how many I can stack. Um, I have to try and hold it for 10 seconds, but I'm gonna count the number of books and see how many I get. You can try this multiple times. If you are primary one to three, you can have help to put the books uh, on top of each other. Challenge yourself though if you are primary four to seven and see if you can actually stack those books yourself. I'd like to see if anyone can actually stack it on their head, but that's for maybe trying off camera. Let's see how I get on though. challenging than I thought it was going to be. I was able to get 11 on the left and then 12 on the right. Give it a go and see how many you can get. Try it on different body parts as well if you can. I'd be quite interested to see how many we can get on our heads. Um, again, this is an opportunity for you to get your name into the All Ness book of records, but you don't have to be living in All Ness uh, to be a part of that challenge book. There are lots of elements involved in balancing, uh, from your breathing to the control of other body parts as well. There's a lot of core strength, there's a lot of arm movement. So check it out, give it a go, try it different ways and see if you can beat my score for starters and also just see if you can beat your own score. So try it on different days with different items. I would say choose wisely. So I've got quite thin books that I was using and that helped me to get above 10. If I was using all uh, books that were a bit bigger, then actually the weight would mean that my balance would be um, a little different, it would be harder. So give it a go, choose wisely, have a lot of fun with it guys and send us in your results. Enjoy!